Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we're going to take a look at two figures. So this, uh, uh, these are the uh, Dicelings from Dungeon and Dragons, Honor Among the Thieves. Now this is the uh, Beholder from Wave 2, so it's the blue one, and the uh, Mimic from Wave 4. So yeah, two from different waves. Uh, First off, the Beholder, I, it's a Rita color, uh, Rita color from the first wave, which uh, was orange. Now the blue one came out in the second wave, and I wasn't, uh, you know, too in a hurry to pick it up, because I love the Beholder as a creature in d and in the, the universe of D&D. But I didn't really like that dice link in particular, because I thought the transformation was way too easy, way too simple for what it is, but, you know... I really love the Beholder, so I got it. So I, I took the blue one because, you know, I'm blue, I like it. But my other favorite creature in the D&D the, the world is the Mimic. So, of course, I had to jump on it. This one is just superb. So, yeah, I've got my other ones right here in the back. So we have the Red Dragon, the Owlbear, and uh, the... I forgot his name. But the Panther with the Illusion tentacle thing. <laughs> so, yeah. In the back, not much. Six steps is very, very generous. I'd say you mostly have like two or three steps. That's it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's open up the box for this one. We first have the instructions. And then this. And then we have the dice right here. Which is pretty darn cool. So there's nothing else here. Let's throw everything in. I don't care. Uh, there you go. Let's put the box in the back. So we have whoop, one dice. Let's check out the other one. Again, instructions. Same thing here. You open up this box. You have this. You then have the dice. There you go. Let's put everything back in. There you go. Put it in the back. Yeah. There you go. So instructions. Like I said, transformation for the beholder is incredibly simple so yeah we have uh, legal stuff nobody reads and yeah instructions they show you uh, six steps and they even stretch it on two pages so there you go yeah three steps here and the rest of the steps here so yeah it's very simple and next up we have the uh, mimic which is my favorite and it's just so awesome again legal stuff nobody reads and transformation is a little bit more intricate. This one has what, like uh, six and eight, yeah. No, oh, actually eight steps, and this one is like from dice to uh, mimic, and this one is from mimic to dice. Oh, that's cool. But uh, yeah, super simple. <laughs> but yeah, really cool dice. You have the numbers. Again, they all have the same problem, but I just wish the number were colored. We don't have color for the numbers, but yeah, still very solid, both of them, super solid. And I just rolled a nine and a four. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they can work, but yeah, of course, you can't really use them for real dice for our dungeon game, because they are unbalanced. Again, four again, so yeah, like I said, unbalanced, so the numbers are always going to be showing up the same, so yeah, still cool. But uh, yeah, transformation for the Beholder, like I said, super simple. First up, bring the number 18 here, open it up. Number 13, open it up. Come to the front here, and now you have the number 8, 16, and 3. You all open them up, like this, and like this, and voila. You basically have the figure. You push the head out. You can open the mouth if you want. There you go. And you can open these antennas, or, well, the eyes, actually. But, uh, yeah, you have uh, this. So you can move the, yep, yeah. That's another thing, the eyes are popping out easily. But, yeah, there you go. You have the beholder. So, real cool. I like the fact that the mouth opens up. You even have, like, the, the side mouth here. Kind of really cool looking. It's all in rubber, so the teeth are smooth. But it's really nicely painted. And uh, yeah, the antenna here or the eyes are on ball joints so you can move them around. These in the back also. But yeah, you're left with still a frame of the die. 
that is not really great to look at but you know these are on a hinge and has a uh, ball joint but uh yeah very cool I love the look his face is really nice so we have the beholder now and the mimic I guess this is my favorite so far I really dig this so first up you take the uh, number 5 and 18 and open this up and again the 4 and 14 you open this up next up you have to open this up like this bring it forward and bring it flat such uh, what else uh, the where is it uh, trying to figure out where is everything uh, this one right here you open this up yeah there you go you have the tongue right here like this and then you have this piece right here which you need to open up these uh, are kind of hard to reach like such there you go this up like such you want to do the same thing on the other side this goes in like such and then this goes out and then you can flip this open flip this open and then you can flip this open and then you bring these down and as you see this pushes those up and this you can bring it all the way down like such and now you have the mimic so you have like a chest that has like a mouth that opens up and gobbles you up <laughs> I really dig this really looks nice but yeah it's kind of weird funky you know not really chest form I guess but yeah it does have like the, the square footing here like such bring it forward and yeah you have the, the top here so yeah and the inside is just bleh, some tongues and uh, it's really disgusting but it's really great I really dig it so there you go you have the mimic and <laughs> yeah, I really like it <laughs> So technically it would have looked like this, but yeah, you know, it doesn't look like a chest. That's that's my main gripe with this. It doesn't look like a chest. But then you open it up, rah, and now it looks like a mimic. So I really love this, all the details inside the mouth, the tongue, the teeth. It's just so nice. I really love it. So yeah, it just goes like this. Voila. So now we have the well, my collection, because I don't like repaint, and this is our, our pretty much all the new molds. There's no other mold. All the other figure of the four waves are all redecos of those. So, uh, but at least now I have one of each mold. So, really cool. Up until they bring up a new one. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I highly recommend for me, especially for the Mimic. I love this one. Beholder, I love the blue color. But the transformation is just way too simple for me. So, yeah. But yeah, Dicelings, Dungeon Dragon, I'm on Honor, I'm on Thief movie. Real cool figures. So yeah, go and pick it up. Otherwise, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.